it. Lego state governments urges solid mineral stakeholders to avoid environmental pollution. Federal government pledges to provide modern equipment for Nigerian police. But for seen thousands protest in France against nomination of new prime minister. And in the sport in Nigeria, the Fitz Republic in 2025 Afghan qualifying game. Now with the details, I'm Sarah Adesoya. The state government has called on solid mineral stakeholders in the sector to avoid practices that can lead to environmental pollution, urging the stakeholders to focus on minimizing environmental hazards caused by sand spillage on roads. Speaking at the Stakeholders Forum, organized by the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources, Chairman of the Lagos State House Assembly Committee on Energy and Mineral Resources, Sabor Onua, cited relevant laws governed the solid mineral sector and urged the stakeholders to comply. Oluwa stressed the importance of stakeholders supporting government initiatives aimed at safeguarding the state critical asset for the benefit of the entire residents. The lawmaker called on stakeholders in the energy and mineral resources sector to comply with all guidelines and collaborate with the regulators in line with the themes plus agenda of the Governor Babajide Sonolu led administration to ensure a safer environment for all. Believing the keynote address at the event, special advisor to the Governor of Mineral Resources, Okonawa Oluwu, Oluwu emphasized the importance of proper coordination in mining operations to protect the environment. Public Procurement Agency has appealed to the World Bank for support to further strengthen the agency for a more effective and efficient delivery of its statutory functions. Director General of the agency, Fatai Onofuote, made the appeal while receiving members of a six-man delegation of the World Bank led by the Bank's Procurement Practice Manager, Western and Central African Region, Nazanin Ali, who are on a one-day visit to the agency in Lagos. While expressing appreciation to the World Bank for its support to the agency in the past, Onofuote stated that the agency is in need for, of more support from the bank in the areas of procurement reforms, modernization of its systems and processes, and full rollout of e-procurement system in the state. The Director General also sought the support of the bank for the agency in other areas, including capacity building and development of personnel, affirmative procurement, small and medium enterprises, SMEs, and facilitation of exchange program for its personnel to enable them to learn from other parts of the world. He also pointed out that the deployment of technology into the public procurement system of the state has greatly enhanced transparency, efficiency, and the ease of doing business, thereby making the state a choice destination for investors. Also speaking at the event, the leader of the World Bank team Nazanin Ali commended the agency for its efforts in ensuring the digitalization of its operations, particularly with regards to its commitment to the implementation of the e-procurement system in the States. The state government has facilitated the founder of Ebony Life Academy, Mo Abadu, on her 20th anniversary celebrations in the media and creative space held at the U.S. Consulate Residency in Ikoni, Lagos. Commissioner for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Toke Bantina Wienka, said it is great to celebrate two decades of incredible achievement by an icon and a first to reckon with in Nigeria's media, entertainment, and creative industry. According to her, Mo Abudu has redefined excellence, creativity, and innovation across various sectors from film and television to fashion and beyond. The Commission also notes her that her contributions to the Nigerian and global creative spaces have been monumental while serving as an inspiration not only to a young and emerging talent, but also to an entire generation of African storytellers, visionaries, and dreamers. 
Bentina will incur films that have impact through the various partnership initiatives with the Lagos State Government is indelible and will forever be appreciated. The federal government has announced plans to establish blood collection centers in all 774 local government areas, including the federal capital territory, to ensure the availability of blood during medical emergencies and transfusions. Head, Med Media and Publicity, National Blood Service Agency, Abdullahi Aruna, made this known in a statement in Abuja. Aruna explained that to kickstart the blood collection project, the FCT will host strategic blood collection facilities in easily accessible locations. I said this initiative will play a vital role in addressing blood shortages and saving lives. The federal government has pledged to provide more modern equipment and resources to the Nigerian police force to enable its discharge its responsibilities more effectively. President Bola Tinubu made the pledge at the graduation ceremony of 478 students of the Nigerian Police Academy, Widi Kanu State. Tinubu was represented by Vice President Kashim Shitima, stressed the importance of shunning corruption and upholding the highest level of professionalism in the discharge of their responsibilities. The president urged graduates to adhere strictly to the ethics of modern policing and the discharge of their duties. He expressed confidence that the officers had received enough training, both academically and professionally, to make a positive impact on the country's security architecture. Tinubu also assured that the federal government will continue to support the academy, which he described as one of the best training grounds for police officers in sub-Saharan Africa. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has issued a warning against the spread of misinformation during the electoral process. INEC's National Commission and Chairman, Information and Voter Education Committee, Sam Olamekum, said this at a press briefing in Abuja ahead of the Edo State Gubernatorial Election. The Edo Governorship Election is scheduled for Saturday, September 21. Ulemeko said INEC has been working closely with security agencies and local stakeholders to ensure a smooth electoral process in Edo State. He noted that key preparations such as installing bimodal voter accreditation system machines and printing triplicate copies of the voters' registers for all 4,519 polling units in the state are completed. The Nigerian Institute of Management has urged the federal government to take urgent steps to forestall economic hardship occasioned by the recent increase in the pump price of petrol. President of NIM, Christiana Atako, said it is important to mitigate the harsh effects of the latest increase in the price of fuel on both the economy and Nigerians. She said the long fuel queues that resource resurfaced in various cities had attendant consequences on Nigerians whose cost of living was shrinking by the day. Atako urged the federal government to continue working with the greater with greater interest of Nigerians at heart, taking more proactive measures to impact the welfare of the citizenry. And for news, tens of thousands of people are protesting across France against the nomination of right wing Michael Barnier as a new prime minister after an inconclusive election in which the left won the largest number of seats. Demonstrations are underway in cities including Paris, Marseille, Nantes, Nice and Strasbourg. The protests were called by trade unions and the left-wing political parties who are furious that their own candidate for prime minister was rejected by President Emmanuel Macron. The European Union's former Brexit negotiator Michael Barnier said he is open to forming a government with politicians across the political spectrum, including the left. Around 130 protests are being held, with the biggest setting out from central Paris.
spot the Suba Eagles of Nigeria have defeated the Cheetahs of the New Republic 3 0 in the first game of the Africa Cup of Nations qualifying series at the Godswilla Pabio Stadium in Rio. Ademola Lukman grabbled a bracelet while Victor Osime came off the bench to help Nigeria's Super Eagles to a comfortable vi victory against the New Republic. The victory takes Nigeria to the top of the Group D as they prepare for the next tie against Rwanda on Tuesday, September 10. Lukman, who has just who just got nominated for the 2024 Ballon d'Or Awards, celebrated the feat with two well-taking goals to set the 2024 African runner-ups on their way to making it to Morocco for the next edition. Just before we go, maintain adequate distance from the vehicles ahead of you to avoid collision. You can follow us on like all our various social media platforms, X at Traffic Radio 961, Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch your news and programs live on YouTube, Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website, www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that under the Nolo administration, Lama launched the Lagos State Blue Box Recycling Initiative? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. So in the news, have a highlight of the major stories. The Lagos State Government has called on solid mineral stakeholders in the sector to avoid practices that lead to environmental pollution, urging the stakeholders to focus on minimizing environmental hazards caused by sand spillage on roads. The federal government has pledged to provide more modern equipment and resources to the Nigerian police force to enable it to discharge its responsibilities more effectively. We also told you that tens of thousands of people are protesting across France against the nomination of right-wing Mark Albania as a new prime minister after an inconclusive election in which the left won the largest number of seats. And in the sports, the Super Eagles of Nigeria have defeated the Cheetahs of Benin Republic 3-0 in the first game of the Africa Cup of Nations qualifying series at the Godswilla Pabio Stadium in Rio. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That is the news broadcast compiled by Zainab Adibeshin. I'm Sarah Adesoya. Thank you for listening and God bless you. <laughs>